explain BioGaia. If someone is just coming along and they're flipping through something or they're online and they see BioGaia, what is it? BioGaia is a probiotic. And a probiotic, by definition, is live bacteria, when ingested, provides a health benefit. So that is what a probiotic is by definition. Mm -hmm. Definition. Now, lots of products on the market are in the marketplace claim to be probiotics, but really and truly, they might just be bacteria, but they haven't been proven in clinical trials to provide a health benefit. So BioGaia is a live bacteria, Lactobacillus reuteri, that when you take provides a health benefit. And it's been studied in numerous clinical trials since the eight, going back to the 80s, actually. And um, it's been studied for its effects on promoting good gastrointestinal function and gut health, which is your gastrointestinal tract, and to promote immune health, provide um, a healthy functioning immune system. So that's basically what it does. What's unique about BioGaia's bacteria, Lactobacillus reuteri, is that it is indigenous. And what that means is that it's a natural part of the human body. What people don't realize is you're loaded with bacteria. We've evolved with bacteria. A lot of people think, oh, bacteria, kill it, die, you know, get the Lysol out. But really, that's not true. We've co-evolved with bacteria through history. And bacteria actually um, does its part in making us healthy. So when you are born, you're born sterile. And as you pass through the vaginal canal, that is your first colonization. All that stuff is loaded with bacteria, and it colonizes your baby. Then you breastfeed, and breastfeed provides the baby with bacteria, not only from the bacteria that's on your skin, but the actual milk itself contains bacteria. Well, that's where Lactobacillus reuteri was isolated from, the breast milk of a woman in the... Andes Mountains. So they took a sample of her breast milk and they isolated Rorderi from that and then what they do is they put it in a vat and every time they go to make the product they grow it, ferment it. So every time you're taking it it's not you know bacteria from breast milk but breast milk provides this bacteria. Um, you know how you have the urge to kiss your baby, you want to kiss them and lick them and again that is providing bacteria to your baby. So that bacteria is what develops and stimulates their immune system over the first two years of life. So they're getting all these colonies, all this bacteria, and that's what teaches the immune system to be strong and robust and to say, when you, I'm going to eat a peanut and not freak out and say, oh, danger, danger, and you get an allergic reaction. So what's happening is we're changing uh, we're basically too sterile, too clean. It's called the hygiene hypothesis. And we're just, we're too clean, we're too sterile. And our children are not getting this diverse populations of bacteria um, in the first two years of life. And it's altering um, the way their immune system responds to things. So they're heightened, they're sensitized, they're allergic to peanuts, they're allergic to dust mites, they're allergic to this, they can't go out in the sun, they, you know, and this is a progressive course of very bad things, you know, they're, they're attributing it now to, you know, autoimmune disease and diabetes and obesity and at later in life, irritable bowel syndrome and all these things, so it's very important for a young child to get exposed to all these different bacteria. So, um, Again, Rorderi was isolated from breast milk, so, which is very unique. All the other bacteria comes usually from your food supply. So you, when you eat food, when you ingest it, it also has bacteria that, you know, so, but Rorderi is indigenous. We, we've had it, we've co-evolved with it. Now what they've found is when they first studied it, they studied the populations in people and they do it periodically. For whatever reason, our populations are going down, 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 down. Again, we're just too clean. We're too sterile. We're, we're messing up our microbial populations, and it's causing health consequences. So, so that's what's unique about Rorderi.